has potential to be cute. I feel like I look like. square to get on the G. This man holding his dog captive, free dog. <laughs> the G was pretty empty for a weekday. Not that many people are in the city, I guess. Getting on that L. That's me. And that's me. So we got out that Morgan Avenue to go. outdoor seating for whatever restaurant this was. <laughs> Urban jungle, yay! <laughs> so we don't go here too much anymore because we went a lot in high school and ever since there hasn't been as much stuff as there used to be back in the Disney, but we figured we'd try it out again. Wall of shorts is really good in the summer and they're super cheap. Got some graphic tees. We found two North Faces for 40 bucks each and they're, you just, we just had to get them. I mean, North Faces are really expensive so if you see them, you have to buy them. I wish I got this Bay hoodie, I'm upset. Cool Harley Davidson shirt for only 15 bucks. If you're into that, Hawaiian shirts as well. I got this Hawaiian shirt, but this is Kara wearing it. Some overalls for you guys and mom dresses. And a cool Louis Vuitton briefcase. Some James Brown looking <laughs> thing. So we're into the second store. It's huge, as you can see. If you're feeling patriotic, and really, really patriotic. Yeah. That's us! Yet again. <laughs> a lot of leather accessories for you. Oh wait, a USA one was back there. <laughs> <laughs> this tea, I mean, come on. Sarcasm is in an attitude. <laughs> A lot of cheap jeans, a lot of Levi's, a lot of overalls. You look at that wall and you just go, DENIM! <laughs> I would say this place is not only really known for accessories, it's mostly known for like, clothing, but you can find something. Follow the yellow brick road. This is a cardigan I got. Um, I really liked it because it was a double zip and I really wanted a double zip. And it's so cute. And this is me wearing it. I feel like the brown shirt didn't really go, so this is a better photo. Oh, it's me now. Looking back, I kind of wish I got this, but the only issue was that it was super itchy. But if you can tolerate that, go for it. The color was so cute, but whatever, we're not gonna think about it. And then I tried on this like over shirt thing that I would just throw on over stuff. And I liked it, like the sleeves were a good length, so I ended up getting that. And there's this thing. <laughs> Had me looking like a box, but I tried to make it work by cropping it, because cropping it makes everything work, but it didn't work in this situation. So we're taking it off. This Hollister skirt, I mean, was just my whole middle school. I went to uniform school, but still, that was just everything to me. So you got Dickies and Carhartt. So now we're at Beacons. I haven't really found anything here yet, but I figured I'd give it another try. They have some nice accessories. 
I was looking for scrunchies to tie up my hair, but I'm not paying $12.50 for a scrunchie, so that's just too bad. The layout of the store is a little intense, but it's color-coded, so that makes it easy to find stuff. Loving the white brick. These god-awful pants. If you like them, shout out to you. They're giving us skater, they're giving us camo, they're giving us little maybe embellishments on the bottom. Maybe a little like, Y2K with the rhinestone? Maybe, I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I used to really want one of these jackets when I was in middle school. Um, anybody who had them was cool, so seeing it again just had me feeling a little nostalgic. So now we're off to Friends NYC. Look at what the gentrifiers are doing to make it feel urban. Friends is really cool. They not only sold clothing, but jewelry and games and cards and candles. It was really cool. And stickers. <laughs> and it was pretty affordable. Nothing was too crazy. Gotta love Jim and Pam. Pretty decent lingerie section. I got this lace cami that was really nice. So here's some art that I saw that was cute. And we're taking it back with this number right here. <laughs> and you know, icons. Honestly. And we love to see queer queens represented even when it's not Pride Month. I love that. So we're going to, where are we going? We're going to Bedford Avenue. Us again, being awkward. They offered the hand sanitizer, they covered the mirrors, couldn't try on anything. But I get it, you know, safety first, safety first. We don't really find much in this store, or we didn't find much in this store. I personally think the men's section is way better, um, but it is affordable and you can find some pretty nice things in there. So if you need bags, chai, or some cowboy boots. So here's a Woke. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but they have some really nice stuff usually. They have a lot of accessories, so it's not just clothing that's being sold there. But still, $8 for a scrunchie felt a little much. So we're walking in. Dun dun dun. Arranged by color, so it's easy to find stuff. Got your neutrals, your purples, your reds. <laughs> like we said, it is a bit pricier. And some of the stuff is not worth it, because that little cameo is not worth $30 in my opinion, but hey. So this is what they usually put on the outdoor section, that's $25 or less, but they put it inside because I think it was going to rain that day. And they had some pretty cute stuff. We tried some stuff on, but none of it really worked out. So we took a look at some of the other places inside the little mall there. Joe's Pizza! We're eating. And the pizza was really, really good. I recommend 10 out of 10. The store was a bit expensive, actually really expensive. We didn't want to record the inside because it was a little intimidating and the guy just kept talking to us, so like, nah. On the weekends they have an outdoor part that's way less expensive and this is just footage of us going to that. being in Brooklyn all day, we decided we wanted to go back to Queens to have some fun. <laughs> so we got on a bus 
But the buses are free in New York now, so who wouldn't want to take the bus? Until September 1st though, don't get too excited guys. <laughs> the hood, you already know. Something sweet is the best if you're looking for something sweet. <laughs> and we got green tea ice cream and we headed over to Gantry to sit and watch the sun and the nice view. And just Look at that beautiful ass library. Just be in nature for a little why is it that they make libraries that cute, but we go to schools with like three schools in a school and the school is run down and just... Look at that view! Shout out to living in New York City, that view. And there's me, I usually walk this little path, but it was feeling a little slippery today, so I jumped off because I didn't want to die. And here's some other stuff that we got that day. I got this hill figure like sweater thing. And I thought it was really cute. I think it was like 15 bucks. And I got this blue polo cable knit sweater. I think it was also 15 bucks. It's cute, it's preppy. 